Hello and welcome everyone to a tutorial about deactivate, freeze, strengthen and solidify. We have our skirt already simulated and put together. The ruffle part is now going to be deactivated pattern only. So the sewing thread still remain colorful and we will see in a bit what the consequences are. So if I start the simulation, the hem part itself does not move but as the sewing threads are still active it pulls down the upper part of the skirt. So when I now choose deactivate pattern and sewing you can see that the sewing threads are displayed in white and once pulling on the garment the deactivated pattern piece does not affect the simulation anymore. Once it's activated the skirt just simulates normally. As a next step, let's select the ruffle and then choose the strengthen command. Once again, it's in the right click menu. The pattern piece will turn orange. You start the simulation and it will sort of say try to straighten out so it can be seen as temporary fusing. If you right click on your pattern piece, you will find the unstrengthen command on the same location as the strengthen command. It's uh, always displayed in this orange color and it is not visible in your rendering afterwards. Now if I pull one side of the ruffle up then it has a bit of a shape that stands out and I want to keep the shape. Then I can sl select the solidify command. The solidify command keeps the mesh in a certain shape even if the simulation is started. So you can see now even if I pull on it it still maintains the shape uh, that we kind of dragged it to. That's very helpful, especially if you f try to style a, a knot or like a lapel. So this is where this function comes in very handy. If you select pattern pieces in 2D and right click uh, on the gizmo, then you can now show pattern pieces that have been hidden before. In the same way it can be done with Shift and Q. Now we're gonna freeze the skirt and I'm gonna activate the t-shirt. So now you see that the free frozen parts are displayed in blue and the shirt is gonna be pulled out a bit so that they are on top of each other. So the difference between deactivate and freeze is with a frozen shirt the garments so to say interact. Now if I deactivate the skirt you will see that the shirt just directly goes through the the skirt and acts like it wouldn't be it's not there so once again i go back and activate the skirt and then freeze the skirt again once i right click on my pattern pieces in the 2d window i can see that i find the same commands there as well so what's the difference between freeze and deactivate so i choose the freeze command when i want my pattern pieces to collide if I want the pattern pieces to not have any influence on the scene and the draping at all, I will choose the deactivate command. Now I unsolidify the ruffle as a last step and you see it drapes normally again. Thank you very much for watching.